This is the third video in the Latin Agency database. In the previous video, we created the table structures. This one is looking at the validation. In the activity, we asked to create table structures based on activity one and the data. The table structures must be suitable validation to meet these requirements. And then we've got a number of requirements. A record for a new property will not save without the house number and a valid postcode. A record for a new property will not save if the property type is invalid. A record will not save if the number of bedrooms is below the accepted range. The record will not save if the number of bedrooms is above the accepted range. A record for a rental will not save if it is for an invalid tenant. And a record for a rental will not save if it is for an invalid property. I've opened up the TBL property in the database and I'm in design view. Let's deal with the house number first. That must be present. So we're going to use the validation rule. It's not null and the validation text. The property house number must be entered. House code again must be entered. So we'll use the same validation. It's not null. The property postcode must be entered. We also said a valid postcode, so we're going to use an input mask for this. So we can say greater than, which forces uppercase letters, LL represents two characters. Zero means the user must enter a number, is mandatory space. Zero, the user must enter a number, and then LL for two letters. The property ID must be valid as well. And if we click on the property ID field and click on the lookup tab, you'll notice we've got the combo box based on a table and we are selecting the property type ID from TBL property type. So that was set up when we set up the relationships. Next is the validation for the number of bedrooms and the number of bedrooms must be between one and five. So between one and five, and the number of bedrooms must be between one and five. The next validation was to make sure that we got a valid tenant if for a rental. And again, we set this up when we did the relationships. If we click on the tenant ID field and the lookup tab, you can see we've got a combo box. It's based on a table and we're going to select the tenant ID from TBL tenant. And then finally, we must have a valid property ID in a rental. So I've clicked on the property ID field on the lookup tab. And again, we've got that combo box based on a table. We're selecting property ID from TBO property. That completes the validation for the letting agency database. The next thing to do is input the data. And we need to do this in this order. So firstly, the tables that have no foreign key, so that's property type and tenant, then followed by the table with one foreign key, so that's property, and then finally the data for the rental, which has got two foreign keys. Take care entering the data. You need to enter it accurately. The next video will cover creating the queries for the letting agency.